And this pure oxygen is normally, you know, just let out into the atmosphere, uh, dumped, as some people would say. So this is pure oxygen. All right, now, um, I'm gonna what I'm going to do is show you uh, burning a hydrocarbon with atmospheric air, with atmospheric oxygen first, and then I'm going to show you the difference when you do that in pure oxygen. So this is just a popsicle stick. It's wood. It's, it's a hydrocarbon. It's representative of fossil fuel. All right, so here we go. All right, this is, uh, this is your typical uh, hydrocarbon combustion. You know, we combust with atmosphere, atmospheric oxygen, all right? So we've got some heat coming off of there, and that's uh, you know, CO2, water, but mostly nitrogen. So vast majority of what's the gases coming off here are nitrogen. All right, so now uh, this thing's dying down. All right, so we got just the amber left, so let's see what this pure oxygen can do for this amber. All right, I think it's symbolic. All right, did you guys see it? It relit it, didn't it? And, um, you know, it was much brighter when I burned with atmospheric oxygen, uh, but I was burning more of the wood. You know, the actual, you know, you probably can't see it on the screen, but, you know, for the small amount that actually burned of this uh, wood stick, you know, it was actually pretty bright, right? Plus, it has left behind uh, CO2 and water, and you can, you can actually see them start to separate here. All right? So these are very, very easy to separate, and then we're going to uh, compress the CO2 into a liquid and then store it underground. All right? So the CO2 is never going to be heard from again. It's never going to go up into the atmosphere and absorb long-wave radiation. It's not a greenhouse gas. It's just garbage. All right? So...